has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello guys, my name is iMac Borman7 and today I'm checking out the Suicide Squad DC Fandom exclusive sneak peek. Now I believe this is just behind the scenes footage, so let's check this out. So three, two, one, yeah. I think it's gonna surprise people. You kind of sit there and go, how did they do that? It's gonna be different from any superhero movie ever made. There's no one better in the world to direct the Suicide Squad Yep. than James Gunn. Yep. I was excited with an opportunity to be able to do the Suicide Squad in the way it could be done from my point of view. This one is completely unique. This is a gritty 1970s war movie combined with the brilliance of James Gunn's characters and comedy. We need your director to set the vibe. The Suicide Squad is just a twisted fantasy of characters. Within each of our characters, there's a certain beauty. Within most Ooh. of them. Some of them are just pretty crappy through and through. Be like a douchey Captain America. The guy who believes <laughs> in peace at any cost, no matter how many people he needs to kill along the way. Okay, I got it. Don't ever settle back like you think you know where this is going, because you don't. As soon as you have some sense about what's about to happen next, James comes in. Oh! Everyone is exploding, genitals, heads, arms, legs. It's like a big, massive graphic novel brought to life. This is by far the biggest movie I've ever made. I don't think that you know what to expect. Don't get too attached. This has been truly the greatest, most exciting journey of my life making this film. Cut, that was great. As I said, I trust James Gunn. I trust James Gunn. I think James Gunn's a great director. The firing them, firing him from Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was probably the worst decision Marvel ever made. Because I, I hope, I know they've brought him back by the way, but I hope this is a massive success. I mean, the first Suicide Squad was a success. It made a lot of money. Critically, it didn't do well, but it made a lot of money. If this movie makes a shit ton of money, everyone loves it, critics love it, and it does so well, and then... Marvel are just like, ah, oh, shit, we just gave them, we just gave them that. I kind of hope that, I really do, I, you know, because I've said this about DC as well, like, I'm happy they've had, like, I want Marvel to have a big flop. I think they need to have a big flop of some sort to help them direct them in a better way, you know, because right now they're going down this track of, you know, you, you I don't want to get into it, but they're going down this track of everyone just, you know, get rid of all the white men kind of thing, and then, you know. It's all going to be females. And people, you know, I mean, the problem is with Marvel, they're not very good at making female films with lead films. I mean, we haven't seen Black Widow yet, but Black, I think Black Widow will be good, actually. I do think that. But I'm kind of happy with DC. Like, what I'm trying to say is, you know, I do, I'm kind of going off track there with that. But with DC, you know, they had one big flop, which was Birds of Prey. That was a big flop. It did worse than Green Lantern. And I'm kind of happy for it because now they're just like, okay, now we need to... That didn't work. We need to experiment a bit more. We need to do more actual DC shit, and that's what it looks like, you know, Wonder Woman, and Suicide Squad, Black Adam, they're really just going out with these films, and recently, with the, with the Flashpoint movie, with bringing back Bat the Batman, uh, Mark Keen's Batman, and all that, and Ben Affleck's as well, which is great, you know, I think they're finally, like, saying, okay, we need to actually make some money here, you know, so, you know, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, ciao.